Hi guys, I'm Derek the Knitwit. Thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. So today's been a bit of an off day. Um, I mean, it, it's Sunday. It's don't have anything that I have to do. Um, you know, I did get out and ride my bike a little bit this morning. So I did get some activity in. Um, I want to get back to going to the gym on a regular basis, but I need to wait until I'm done with ECT before I you know, make that big of a, of a um, com time commitment to something. Um, cause I mean, I, I know that you know working out in the gym will help me out a lot, will help with my, my mental and physical health, but um, I know that right now going to the gym and ECT and just my normal type stuff is probably a little bit more involved than what you know I really want to have myself you know um, strut not suckered into but um, locked into because there are days that I may come out of ECT and be fine and, um, you know, I'm re ready to go the whole rest of the day. And then there may be days that I come out of ECT and I really need to just go home and go back to bed. Um, you know, I mean, I've, I've had both of those day types of days. I mean, Friday... My session Friday was easy, but I also, um, you know, they also had a hard time getting my blood pressure down, which that's a new thing for me because I'm used to having my blood pressure be on the low end of normal. Now suddenly it's, my blood pressure is, um, you know, running up there that where they're having to give me medicine for it. Um, not stroke level. Um, high blood pressure, but it, it's higher than their, their parameters want it to be. So that's going to be a lot of that is going to be getting into the gym. Back in the gym is going to get that back to normal for me. But I said I'm the only one of my my sister. My sister doesn't have high blood pressure, but I've been the only one in my family that up until now hasn't had a lot of the the high problems with the high blood pressure stuff like that. And now I suddenly all of a sudden am. And I think that once we're done with ECT and I am can get back to the gym, then things I think, well, you know, I start get my weight back down to normal to a healthy weight and um, Get involved in you know getting where I'm active more than just you know 10 minutes here and there then that I think will do a lot better and that'll help my mood too so but anyway so today I finished the velvet blanket it's just the perfect for resting on my legs as I'm sitting there when I'm watching TV. So, I'm glad I'm done with that one. I think I've got enough, a little bit left of the, um, the velvet that I'm going to try and make a scrunchie out of. And if I, if it's not enough to make a scrunchie, then it'll definitely be enough to make, um, some of the little miniature granny squares. Speaking of miniature granny squares, look what I got from Amazon today. Crochet bags. They've got it's a crochet backpack, a messenger bag, zippered clutch, a chunky tote bag, an amulet pouch, folded bag, hobo bag, crossbody bag. Um, there's a mar market bag in here, a yoga bag. So. So I have this, so 
got this. I'm going to start working on. I think I'm going to start making some of the um, the squares for the the um, granny messenger bag. Maybe we'll get some of the other ones. Because they have different stitches that they teach as in addition to just, um, just the, the purses or the bags. got that to work on and then I today I've been working on I'm making a because I had I have this that I made and this is the large size so I decided I'm making a small one and so I've got I'm just doing one section each day so this is where I've got I've just done yesterday and today so then tomorrow will be pink and with tomorrow being an ECT day that may not that may be all that I make and um, I'll start it before I go to ECT and then but I won't take it to ECT with me little miss is getting into everything today I have also started on the the next square for the the stitch sta um, sampler afghan the stitch sampler afghan the block five fifth block it's just is just that one that's what it looks like I'm not sure exactly how they is going to it's going to end up being it um I mean it's it's making it because you you have every row or every other row you lose two stitches and cuz um you do a knit two together and then SSK right at this part so I've just been working on it um, and like because I can't my mind is just not necessarily seeing th how things work all the way through so it's like I know that all I just need to do is just follow the steps that's in the pattern and I will get the, the I will get the the square for the the afghan I just am not quite sure how it's going to get there yet but I can see that it is doing that so working on that I did work on I started to work on the kitty cat hat that I was making that knitting in the round that was seed stitch except I had messed it up and it was more than just a little mess up I mean it was hideous and there there were places that it was just all kinds of jacked up and I kept thinking I was like you know well let's just keep doing it but I was like but not okay I I don't I know what seed stitch is now um I still don't like it um I don't like what it looks like I don't like what it feels like but anyway I ended up fro um, frogging the the kitty cat hat so may as well you save the yarn, use it for, um, I mean, plenty of other things, but I can always just use it for something in here. And so that went away today. And then you've seen the the afghan and you've seen the knitted poof yeah so I actually that's everything that I've got going on because I don't have anything cro crocheting um, any, any projects that I'm working on right now actively today that um, is crochet so I think that um, what I'll end up sorry there 
cats are being little twerps. Um, so, I think I'm just going to spend the rest of this evening working on the, uh, the Afghan sampler, working on that and um, making some progress on it so that I can have it ready. Um, Though I do need to come up with something I can take with me tomorrow um, that I can do that I that I can you know an easy project to do something like I'll probably end up making another market bag with uh, out of this stuff. Um, I want a black one, but I I don't have enough black to make it all the way through so I want I want a solid black one um so I won't start on the black one yet but I think that I'm that what maybe what I am doing is getting the um market bag started for tomorrow so that I can have it ready to go and I can take with me when I go up there for ECT I don't know how many more ECT sessions I have. Um, I've had five. So month, tomorrow will be six. And they get they got pre-authorization for nine with my insurance. Um, and I think they said the average person usually does around 12 or so. So I really don't know. You know, if there, I mean, because I can tell, I mean, beyond the I'm spacey right now, which, um, just the whole today just feels sideways anyway, but beyond that, I mean, it's like, I can tell my mood is getting better. Um, I don't feel as down all the time, so, you know, maybe I will only need nine of them. Maybe I'll only need, you know, this three this week and then be done. Who knows? Um, but I, I assume that they will keep telling me what I need to do. Um, cause they, you know, every day when I leave ECT, if, when they give me a piece of paper that tells me the next time that I have to come back. So, but, you know, and I mean, it's, there are, I mean, I'm glad that I'm doing ECT. I really am. Um, never mind the fact that I am a little, a little bit of a space cadet right now. Um, I think ECT is benefiting me in a way that I've not been able to have any kind of benefit in a long time so it's been really good for me um or it will be good for me so but anyway that's all I've got for today I'm just a little I'm a little a little bit of an airhead today I'm just gonna chill out and enjoy the rest of this evening and um Get ready for ECT tomorrow, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.